speaker, William Coleman, is in a sense the successor of Albion Tourget. Because his work in the litigation for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund that culminated in Brown II as an attack on public school segregation was in the tradition of Tortoget's work on the Plessy case. William Coleman is a native of Philadelphia. He's a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard Law School. William Coleman became a Supreme Court clerk on the Plessy case. William Coleman is a native of Philadelphia. He's a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard Law School. William Coleman became a Supreme Court clerk and himself integrated the clerks of the Supreme Court when he went to work for Felix Frankfurter in 1948 as his law clerk that he was litigating on behalf of was before in these Brown cases. William Coleman went on from his work for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund to a distinguished career both in private practice and in public service. He served in the cabinet as Secretary of Transportation during the Ford administration. He served in so many other positions of great importance and responsibility for the detail of the program. He is today a senior counsel partner in the law firm of O'Melveny and Myers in their Washington, D.C. office. And among his many honors, one of the things you always love to see as a president get things right, William Coleman was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Clinton in 1995. Felix Frankfurter, William Coleman's boss, wrote maybe a little bit of a cloying congratulatory note to Chief Justice Earl Warren on the day that Brown II was decided. I read it as part of our discussion this morning, but I'm pleased to have a chance to share it with this group this evening. Dear Chief, May 31, 1955, Felix Frankfurter to Earl Warren. The harvest of today's planting won't be fully assessed for many a day. For me, it's a safe bet that the wisest historian of the court a half century hence will acclaim the long-headed wisdom of what your opinion said and not less so what it didn't say. In any event, I am content. Yours faithfully, FF, Felix Frankfurter. <coughs> Felix Frankfurter had a wonderful, exuberant energy and spent all of his time thinking and talking and writing and actually seeding the future by scribbling notes that he knew would end up in places like my warm little hands. Uh, when I found this one referring to a half century hence, 1955, meaning today, I both felt delighted and in a little sense manipulated. Uh, it was almost like a setup that I'd stumbled into. Frankfurter knew somebody like me and you and us would be coming along and talking about Brown II in 2005, and this was one of the tidbits he left us. But I'm not sure he ever would have thought it through to the point that I know would make him extremely happy. And that is the point of William T. Coleman, Jr., his law clerk, someone he thought extremely highly of, being here to speak to us tonight about the legacy of that great decision. Secretary, the Honorable William T. Coleman, Jr. Thank you. 